uh, folks, uh, it's me Rahal, and this is a sort of a short, special little type of bonus video. Um, and it's going to be me doing a dramatic reading of the speech that Amanasil gave on his coronation. The coronation was a huge affair for us as a group, and for Amanas in particular. We spent pretty much all of our money making sure it was the, the biggest affair we could possibly throw. Uh, and at the critical junction, I also managed to roll a natural 20 uh, on the speech itself on a on a advantage re-roll so um it pretty much came out as good as it could possibly have um now then i was put on the spot to give a speech sort of uh which i was not prepared for and uh in me scrambling to uh get a speech out i more or less cribbed uh, most of it from uh, other sources, mainly StarCraft. Um, so now, uh, with the uh, campaign starting up again soon, well, tomorrow Friday, when I record this, to be to be precise, I thought, hey, why not do a little bonus episode to record a, a dramatic reading of the speech? Um, and uh, and yeah, let's let's have this as a sort of a, a starting off point of the new the new season of Blood Bonds. Um, I was debating a little bit if I should have music over this or not, but I had trouble finding a music track I liked, uh, mainly because you are mixing the jubilant celebratory victory that the group has enjoyed, uh, but also you want sort of the to reflect the more dark, menacing nature of Amanasil in particular and of the other group, uh, making it difficult to find a track that was both jubilant and menacing at the same time. So, in lieu of actually finding that, um, I'm gonna gonna run this without music feel free to play your own favorite track while listening to this i suppose for, for the right feeling um so yeah here we go my loyal citizens i come to you in the wake of recent events to issue a call to reason let no imperial deny the perils of our time while we battle one another, divided by the petty strife of our common history, the tide of a greater conflict is turned against us, threatening to destroy all that the Empire has accomplished. It is time for us as nations and individuals to set aside our long-standing feuds and unite. The tide of an unwinnable war are upon us, if we must seek refuge upon higher ground, lest we be swept away by the flood. The attempt on my life broke the heavenly pact. The great alliance made between my celestial line, the noble houses and the church. Whatever semblance of unity and protection it once provided is a phantom, a memory. With our enemies left unchecked, who will you turn to for protection? The devastation wrought by the ravaging invaders is self-evident. We have seen our homes and communities destroyed by the calculated blows of the Inquisition. We have seen firsthand our friends and loved ones consumed by the nightmarish orcs. Unprecedented and unimaginable though they may be, these are the signs of our time. The time has come, my fellow Imperials, to rally to a new banner. In unity lies strength, and already many of the dissident factions have joined us. Out of the many, we shall forge an indivisible whole, capitulating only to a single throne. And from that throne, I shall watch over you. From this day forward, let no human make war upon any other human. Let no imperial agency conspire against this new beginning. And let no citizen consort with alien powers. And to all the enemies of the Ashen Court, seek not to bar our way. For we shall win through, no matter the cost. <laughs> 